We are continuing our journey through the Gospel of Matthew, and we will be looking at chapter 14, and we will be reading verses 4 and 5 from the New Revised Standard. Matthew 14 and verse 4 says this, Because John had been telling him, it is not lawful for you to have her. Though Herod wanted to put him to death, he feared the crowd because they regarded him as a prophet. Now, when we read this passage, what is going on within it? We could say that this is one of the most politicized passages within the Gospels, i.e., it shows how the Christian faith inevitably has a political impact. Now, understand, we as evangelicals in particular tend to say, you know what, the church is here, government is here. But the reality is that the Christian faith, when lived out and practiced, will have a political impact. In political regimes around the world, one of the ways you control society is by the control of information. Pravda was the official newspaper of the Communist Party in the Soviet Union. The name of the newspaper, that is Pravda, translated means truth. Now, when you hear that, you cannot help but smirk as you understand that Pravda as a newspaper and, and during the time of the Soviet Union was not committed to telling the truth. Pravda as a newspaper in a communist country was what? It was designed to parrot the government's party line. So if there was inconvenient facts out there, the truth would not be told. A famous example from space history is a disaster that occurred in October 1960 at the Balkanor Cosmodrome. A major explosion, death, destruction, mayhem. Guess what? Pravda did not cover it. You know, and there is a reason for it, because Pravda was designed to project a certain image of the government. Political regimes, from the time there have been political regimes, like to protect their images. Louis XIV, who ruled France from 1643 to 1715. Now, there is a, some uncertainty of whether this was actually said by him. But it has come to be attributed to him, the famous saying, L'été, c'est moi. Or in English, we would say, the state is me. Now, Louis XIV was what was what is called one of the absolute monarchs. During this period of European history, the kings of Europe were centers of tremendous power, and the state, as it were, got built around them, whether it is in England, France, or Spain. The nation in France and its function was built and centered on him. If we want to understand the offense of John the Baptist, it kind of helps to take this European example as an understanding. Understand that the Herods, when they ruled in the part of the world that they did, they were not simply government officials. They were not simply the heads of the bureaucracy. There is, much like under Louis XIV, a sense in which the state was an extension of who and what they were as a family. And so when you begin to, as it were, preach as John the Baptist about the credibility of Herod Antipas and his marriage, you're not just, you know, preaching morality. You are questioning the integrity of the state because the state and the Herodian dynasty in that part of the world was one. Yes, the Herodians had their, ultimately their ruling authority from the Romans, but, you know, the image was important. It was that they were the state. Now, the reality is that all governments have limits on them. 
The Soviet Union at its worst could not just do anything. Louis XIV could not just do in anything in France in his day. Their Iraq eventually limits as to what they can do because you eventually reach a point where governments can end up destroying themselves if they try to do just about anything. I'm not saying that corrupt and debased regimes do not try to do just about anything. There's usually something or someone who stands in the way of complete and unregulated power. Herod Antipas had the power to kill John the Baptist, but he knew, and in a sense was a savvy enough politician to understand that while he had the power and the means and the right to kill John the Baptist, that there would be societal repercussions. Yes, he still would have control of the state, but did he want to have to send his troops out to quiet the crowds after he killed John the Baptist and the ensuing kerfuffle that would follow? In the modern era, governments, even when dictatorship, can feel the pressure of public response. We are told that Herod considered John the Baptist a prophet. What he meant by that and what we understand by that word means two different things. He had ruled a long time in that area of the world. He may not have been an observant Jew, but he did grasp the basics of the faith. People outside the church are not always against the faith. There can be people who are sensitive to the faith. People who may not go to church and yet see the good of what the church does. You know, you look at the book of Acts. Paul planted the church in part because he worked within the Roman system. I'm not saying that they were always intolerant of him, but Paul clearly knew how to work within the social structures of his day. Paul worked with government leaders, even though governance in the empire could be despotic. We must never weaken our resolve for the faith, even if it re offends the rich and the powerful of this world. John the Baptist sets us an example. The preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ always, always has societal and political impact. And we must not be afraid to exercise that.